Okay, so this is Corey with True Track. Um, another Tuesday True Track tip. Uh, I get asked a lot of times on the control wheel steering button. Uh, where does it go? What does it do? How does it work? And sometimes even where does it get placed by an installer? So uh, today we're just going to talk simply about the control wheel steering button, uh, also known as CWS. The CWS has two main functions. One, if the autopilot's engaged like it is now, one push of that button will disconnect the autopilot. With the autopilot engaged, what we can do is push and hold this button, the CWS button, and you see CWS on the screen. I like to think of this as my crank and bank. If I ever get told in the air, turn immediately for traffic, what I'm going to do is push this button for two seconds until it says CWS, and now the autopilot is temporarily disengaged, so I can climb, turn, uh, spin, do whatever I need to to comply with either ATC or get myself safe. Uh, as soon as you let go of this button, it's going to pick up on the same track that you that you let the button go. So if we push it at, at, at zero at true north and we turn 090 east and let that button go, 090 is going to be our new track. So remember, the CWS, two main functions is one click disengages it and pushing and holding it temporarily disengages it.